New at six, welcoming a new baby is supposed to be one of the happiest times of our lives, but for many women that joy is overshadowed by prenatal mood and anxiety disorders like postpartum depression. Now we're learning more about the pandemic's toll on new and expectant mothers. Ashley Smith spoke with a Virginia support group about the critical need to reach these women. Mm -hmm. Hello, are you excited to go outside? Shamir Edgerton says she wasn't feeling like herself after her daughter Harmony was born in 2018. <laughs> She's so excited now. I wasn't functioning. You ready? I was like just going through life like a zombie. You know like how you see a person walking down the stairs? It's internally, I was going down the stairs like that. No, no, don't get in the water. She didn't immediately associate those feelings with postpartum depression. You have this one, you have this one picture. It was like all the stories that we saw on the news. Um, you know, women going out hurting their children or they're just really depressed. But PPD is common and treatable. It's one of a wide range of perinatal mood and anxiety sorry, disorders, yeah, sorry. or PMEDs. And the perinatal piece is important because that covers people during pregnancy and postpartum. Kristen Miller is regional program director and peninsula coordinator of Postpartum Support Virginia. That's pretty much our main mission, right? That every, every birthing person in the state of Virginia is made aware of PMADS, that they are screened for, and then they have access to be able to have those resources for treatment that they need. The nonprofit recently co-conducted a survey to assess the pandemic's emotional impact on new and expectant Virginia moms. Of the more than 700 responses, nearly 70% noted a lack of social interaction. More than half had insufficient mental health support. But definitely before the pandemic, we saw the same high needs. Once the pandemic hit, a lot of those things stopped, right, very abruptly. So people no longer had access to any of those services. Meaning the same needs pre-COVID could have more devastating impacts today if not addressed. <laughs> You can say cheese. There can be <laughs> outcomes for not only the birthing person, but also their infant, their partners. We know that partners can also be affected by PMADS, as well as extended families. Hey. <laughs> the group is working to expand accessibility to services like support groups statewide, saying it could make all the difference for moms like go, Shamir. Go, 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 go. These women right here, they went through it just the same. But once you realize that you're not alone, then you realize, okay, I can do this. I can just take one step at a time, walk through it, and before you know it, you're gradually getting back to yourself. Be careful, I know, I know. Ashley Smith, 13 News Now. And Miller says some common symptoms of perinatal mood and anxiety disorders include sleeping too much or too little, being too hands-on or hands-off with the baby, or excessive crying. If you or someone you know may need help, you can reach Postpartum Support Virginia through this story on 13newsnow.com.